Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. At this point, we're putting out content pretty much every 24 hours. So every day we have uh, success coaches within our program, within our company, that are putting out content to help you to scale and grow your business. Okay, so make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. Also, if you want to reach out to me and you want to talk about your business, I can. I do these free 15 to 20 minute calls every single day with coaches in any sport really, really at this point. And what they are is we jump on a Zoom call. I ask you some very specific questions to do with your business. I get a real feel about what you're currently doing, what struggles you're, you're having, and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to scale and grow what you do. Okay. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to just send me an email, you can do that as well. You can send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. At this point, I make it a mission to respond to every single coach that reaches out and emails me about uh, with questions to, to do their business. Okay, so don't get stuck. Three ways you can get help. Number one is make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with all the great free content that we put out. Two, you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute uh, consultation with me where we can talk about your business, see where you are, see where, where you want to get to and see. And I can show, show you some actionable steps to take this week to scale and grow. Or if you want to simply just contact me via email, send me a question you can do that as well to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. Okay, so let's get straight into today's video. Now, today I'm going to be talking about how to turn your, your private soccer training business from seasonal to all year round. Now, a problem we have with a lot of coaches who, before they join our program, they have it, they, they're struggling with this one thing, and that is. They, they're, they're becoming a seasonal trainer, right? That most coaches that want to join our program, want to get our, our help, they're struggling on how to transition from becoming seasonal to becoming full-time. So when I say seasonal, I'm talking about a coach who maybe does training during one season during the year. So it might be during the summer, you might run camps or clinics. It might be during winter, you might you might do private one on one training. Uh, it might be the spring. OK, so there could be a certain time of the year where you're working with clients. And for whatever reason, those clients aren't committed to you for the entire year. OK, so essentially what you become is you become a seasonal trainer, which means you're working with clients over a season during the year instead of actual a year-round uh, basis okay so pretty much if you've decided to to coach and to to set up your business this way it's pretty much down to you and it's it's your fault okay now we are experts of what we do we help coaches transition from seasonal to all year round and most coaches who watch this this channel uh, most coaches that we speak to, that we've had on our podcast, that we get on these free 15, 20 minute calls on, are struggling with this one concept, right? How can I become an all year round trainer? How can I become a full time trainer? Okay. Now, what I want to share with you today is pretty much three very simple things that you can do. So you can do to grow your clientele base and make sure that you you transition from that seasonal uh, type of trainer to all year round okay and it pretty much involves having two or three offers per month going out so what do i mean by two or three offers per month okay so there will be three certain types of clients that or sorry three two or three certain types of people that you want to target every single month with your business. Okay. And the first one is current clients. 
So if you're working with one client, if you're working with five clients, if you're working with seven clients, doesn't matter how many clients you're working with, you want to create promos and you want to create offers that make them more committed. So I'll share with you this very simple example. So say I'm working with a client who has been committed to me for, for one month. Okay, they've, they're, they're a new client, they've registered, and they've registered to, to stay in my program for 30 days. What I want to do is at the end of that month or in the middle of that month, I want to go to that client and I want to offer them a promo, okay, a promo or an offer. And what this offer is, is basically it's a discount to them committing for more time within our program. So how this could work is pretty much I call Mrs. Jones and I tell her that, she, I, you know, I've seen great progress with her child and that I would like to, to work with him or her for longer so that he or she can get great results. OK, so what typically will happen is we can put an offer there that if they extend their current contract from 30 days to 90 days, okay, we're going to give them, you know, a discount if they pay up front. So if that extension, for example, is equal to $500, okay, so they, 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 they're halfway through their current contract, which is 30 days, but if you get them to extend for another two months and they pay up front, you might give them a hundred dollar discount if they pay up front and extend for a further two months. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to our current clients and we want to offer these type of deals and these type of promos. OK, so it doesn't matter if you're working with one client, if you're working with two clients, if you're working with five, 50, 100. It doesn't matter what we want to do. We want to go back to current clients and we want to get them to extend their contract with us. And in order to get them to extend, we're going to offer them a promotion or a discount off that extension. So if they decide to pay up front for the extension, so it might be an extra two, three, four months of worth of training, then we offer them 50% off, 75% off, 20%, 15%. If they commit to pay in the the entire two, three, four, five, six months up front. Okay. Now what that happens is if you're typically working with clients for two months and you get them to extend and become more committed, essentially what you're doing is you're increasing the amount of time you have them in your program and you get them to stay within your program for longer. So what happens is instead of going, instead of being more seasonal, you might only be working with one client for, for two months. Now you're getting them to extend and stay with you for maybe half the year. Okay. And that's how we transition from seasonal to full time. Okay. We go, go to our current clients and we get them to extend their contract with us. And if they do and they commit, then we offer them a discount off that, that full payment that they make. Right? Now, second way would be to visit previous clients. And by visiting, I mean getting in contact with previous clients. So any clients that you have on your CRM that you've currently worked with or that they've done business with you, we want to go back to them and we want to give them an offer. So this might be an offer to an upcoming clinic. This might be an offer for one-to-one -one training. This might be an offer for group training. Okay, but we want to go back to our previous clients that, that have trained with us, that we've done business with, that we've got great results with, that we've had a relationship with. And we want to get in contact with them again and offer them something that will entice them to join back into our program okay so if you've had a, a past client who 
who was committed to you for, for three months. And then for whatever reason, they decided to stop their contract or they start or they decided not to continue with you. We can go back to them and offer them a, a promotion or an offer that entices them to join back and become a client again. So if you've worked with 20 to 30 previous clients, you go back and communicate and contact that, that, that previous client list, you might be able to retrieve five to 10 extra clients per month into your business. So if you're currently only working with five clients, but you've worked with a lot of clients in the past, you can go back to that, that clientele list and offer them a discount or offer them a free clinic, a free training session. Just find a creative way to get in contact with them and get them back into the program. Okay. Now, if you do that every month, imagine the amount of new clients you will get. You will be able to add two or three new clients every single month by um, going to current clients, offering them offering them a promotion, an extension, okay, an upgrade to their current program, or going back to previous clients that you know, have experience with your business, have experience with your training and offer them something that will entice them to come back. Now, the third way is prospects who haven't experienced your training program yet. Okay, so we've already spoken about current clients. We've spoken about previous clients. Now, the third one is prospects who haven't experienced our training yet. Okay. And what we do, we encourage coaches within our program to talk to at least three new prospects per day. Okay, so three people that may have access to parents, organizations, uh, other coaches, other teams, other clubs, someone that has links to players that you want to work with and that haven't experienced your, your program yet. So if you make it a mission every single day to connect with parents, uh, other coaches, other trainers, other organizations, other clubs, and you make it a mission every single day to connect with at least three new people and bring them into your ecosystem, right? You will be able to add anywhere between five to 10 new clients per month into your training program. And five to 10 is, is being a little bit, um, conservative you might you might be able to add a lot more but i'm just rounding up a, a a small number okay so three ways in order to go from seasonal to full time to adding clients every single month is go back to your current clients look to upgrade them on their current contract go back to previous clients look to offer them something that will entice them to do business with you again so it might be a it might be a discounted uh, rate on a camp. It might be a clinic. It might be one to one training. It might be small group training. It might be team training. Right, whatever it is, offer them something. And then the third one is look for prospects or talk to prospects who haven't experienced your training just yet. Okay, so make it a mission every single day to connect with at least three new people in your local area that you haven't done business with, that haven't experienced your training, but that have access to kids or players that you want to work with. Okay, if you do that, if you do those steps, take them into your business, I can guarantee you that you will go from seasonal to full time in six or less months uh, straight away. Okay, so if you want more help, again, Two ways to get in contact with me. First one, schedule a free call on Calendly. My Calendly link is in the description. Click on it. You can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. Or you can just send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.